Hello, friends of the internet. Welcome to General Nerdcast, episode 74. Yarg. We think. Yeah. We're not sure. We're... We've been playing way too much Destiny, <laughs> and we totally fucking boned it this week. <laughs> yeah, pretty so, much. So, uh, we do have some news stories for you. My hands are still in the air, <laughs> Yeah, so I was weird. wondering about <laughs> that. I was like, yeah, they're, they're, they're up there. They're staying. I kind of forgot that they were doing that. <laughs> just... I was like, I got stuck in the moment and just... Forgot control. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I lost all muscle control. <laughs> so, right. um... Let's start it off with yep. <laughs> Bobby right here. Yep, that's me. We got Tyler right here. That's him. And then we got Gall right here. Or Gary or, or Glenn or Garrett. Graham. Gra- Gabrielle. Gavin. Greg. <laughs> Gordon. Grant. George. I never Garth, read all these. Guy. <laughs> Grady. Gideon. Gerald. Gerard. Not Gerald. <laughs> Gus. <laughs> Gil, something with a G. Gall. Gall. So, um, we're going to bring you the news that, yeah. from the past week. So, we'll just do that now that we've read all the names on <laughs> Tyler's shirt. Because, you know, that, that, was, that was important. That's what we um, did. So, <laughs> there's been a new Sword Art Online franchise announced. Yeah. Um, but... Coming in the future. Future coming days of the futureness. Yeah, I think soon. So. Sometime, yeah. eventually. There's a teaser trailer thing at the end of Ordinal Scale, I believe. And for the DVD, basically the release to, like, the home releases for now. Just you realized can buy I was, it. like, leaning off screen. <laughs> it's okay. I, I, I don't know where I was last video. Yeah. Yeah. So, eh. um, <laughs> but for the, like, home release, DVD release, Blu ray release, whatever version you get. Uh, they added some text to the teaser trailer saying that this is going to be the next uh, installment into the Sword Art on- Online universe story franchise. Yeah, thing about Bob's. Still have to finish Gun Gale Online story. Yeah, I got to do that too. Like yeah. I-, I stopped after they stopped or they finished the game. Like I'm in the episodes. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Know, so I-, I haven't even watched them do the. Uh... Well, no, I guess they, I did start the, the um, what is the thing they call it? The gun the, the, tournament thing. Yeah, whatever yeah, it's called. I, I don't remember the name yeah. of it. It's been I, like remember, I remember it's really dumb, though. Yeah. It's been like four months or something. It's something they... of bullets. Gale? No, it's, um... Bullets? No. I don't remember. Is it like Bullet of Bullets or something? I don't know. It's, a, it's something that I was like, well, that's not a good name. <laughs> but, yeah, it is something like that. Yeah. But so, yeah, so there's there's gonna be the next sort of installment. That's basically what we're trying to say. Yeah, I do want to watch the Ordinal Scale because that one looked a lot cooler than the Gun Gale. Yeah, story. Um, no ben, I sh- I think I should be able to now since it is being released. But I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Probably it'll probably be on Country Country Roll eventually. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to check. Actually, I haven't hopped on Country Roll in a while. But that is neither blur. That's not either here nor there. That's what but I, I do have for. things to tell you about Telltale. Okay, they got a new CEO, CEO and yeah. he was worked for Zynga, Zynga, Zonga, that really dumb company that made really dumb phone games. Oh yeah, or like that's why like I Facebook games. Yeah, both. They, I think they did both. They they did a lot of mobile, small, flash, yeah. whatever games. Yeah, but I forgot about. I, I was, yeah, I, like I read the name. I'm like. I know him from somewhere. I know those pieces of shit from something. <laughs> yeah. Um, his name is Fred Phillips Fredrickson. That's not real at all. Uh, I can't remember his name now. Pete Hawley. Thank you. I know it's just general general guy name. Yeah. Pete Hawley. Uh, he is the new CEO of Telltale, and let's just hope that he doesn't make every Telltale... Like, I could totally see him doing something like like wanting to do something along the lines of if you wanted to select an answer, like because you know your Telltale yeah, is just yeah. like a storytelling game and you just pick answers to questions that they ask you, yeah, or or different situations. Uh, like if you want this one, you have to pay ninety nine cents. Otherwise, you only get these two. Like I could totally see them see well, him doing yeah, something like that. that. Would, that just would because be like the mobile microtransaction bullshit that he's so used to, he's like, we could get away with this. We could do this. No, you can't. I'm gonna let you know right now. No, you can't. Experience the third third story DLC for yeah fifteen dollars per decision or uh, for all decisions or whatever yeah yeah buy the buy the 
buy the limited or you get the free version it's free the for the for like chapters are free but if you want the whole story to tell the story your way you have to pay fifteen dollars <laughs> an episode <laughs> some shit like that yeah i hope i hope he doesn't do something like that. i hope he doesn't think he can do that no that, that would he's be, not gonna be able to that'd be pretty terrible people are gonna be so mad their ceo thing has been a little wonky over the past couple of years so hopefully just having a standard or like a single CEO, yeah, like helps a real, out, like a real boy. Yeah, I'm a real boy. I'm a... <laughs> We're not gonna do that. <laughs> We're gonna make everything great. That's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of went down that way. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. this is Venom. Let's Venom. go into yeah. our next thing because we don't know what we're doing. Anymore. Yeah, this, this is already a shit show. We're two things in. <laughs> uh, Venom, the movie has been delayed. Uh, to yeah. it's been delayed. Give me a second, because my notes I didn't rip them out like I normally do. Um, basically, it's been delayed by like seven weeks from when they're yeah, going to start it's, shooting. It's not very long, wasn't it? Because of a hur- the hurricanes. I think it had to do with hurricanes and. Um... See, I, I read these stories and I just hope that I remember them <laughs> in the middle of the beginning of the week. So yeah, they... this one was like on Monday, so I'm like, ah. Yeah, basically, they're sh- now going to be shooting it. New York and Atlanta, so I think pro- it probably did have to do with some I of the think, hurricanes. I think I think they were gonna start in Houston or Flo- somewhere in Florida, and I think because of the hurricanes, they had to uh, delay, delay and figure new... out a new place. Yeah, yeah. So. so they're not gonna start shooting it until October twenty third now. Yep. Um, and this way, since they're shooting there, there's all actually a lot of filming crews for Atlanta and whatnot, mm-hmm. so they actually can get a lot of different people or lot better production than or a lot more options for production. Yeah. That's what I was going for. Which is good. Um I guess it kind of shows that they're taking the movie seriously. Yeah. So they're actually going to try to make the best movie that they can. Yeah. Instead of just throwing together some random stuff. Look, we made a Marvel movie. Give us millions of dollars. <laughs> kind of situation. Yeah. So. That's yeah, hopefully they make it good. And they do well. Yeah. But um we have to wait an extra 7 weeks for the from the release date that we never had on Venom. Yeah, that's <laughs> 2019, 2020, probably, area. Um, moving on to another movie, Hellboy. Uh, David Harbour's first images of him in the Hellboy makeup are revealed, and he looks really fucking good. Yeah. He looks it's... like he looks way better than what's-his-name did. Uh, and that, Ron like, Perlman. Yeah, Ron Perlman. There we go. You. I was like... Uh, he looks way better than Ron Perlman did. Yeah. And, like... I'm not, not knocking on Ron Perlman movies. Those were great fucking movies. I yeah. loved the Hellboy movies. Oh, yeah, I like that too. David Harbour just, like... Embodies Hellboy better. Yeah, he just looks the look better to me in my head than Ron Perlman did. Yeah. He's, he's taller than Ron Perlman, isn't he? I don't know. He might be just wearing tall yeah, shoes. Yeah, he could be doing that. <laughs> but, yeah, it did look... It looked better. Like, it didn't look... I feel like Ron Perlman's looked a little more stocky than mm-hmm. uh, David Harbour's, and uh, David's looks more fitting. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what it is. It just fits the character mold better in my head than yeah, it, Ron it Perlman did. But I mean, he looks fucking amazing. It looks so good. I'm 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 happy. Yeah, it uh, I think good. he posted it on his Twitter. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll probably try and get it in the video too. But if not, um, I think on his Twitter or. Just Google yeah. David Harbour Hellboy, and yeah. you'll find it. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, it's good. It looks real good, and I'm real happy about it. I need a stretch. Oh. Uh, While he's stretching, let's talk very briefly about PewDiePie. PewDiePie! Yeah. So, he, he, again, some more racist crap popped up, and we're kind <clears> of just, <throat> I don't care anymore. Well, okay, my thing is, is with the thing that we talked about, I don't know, a few months ago, with yeah. PewDiePie about his whole, like, the the thing where you pay people to hold a sign saying that they hate people, like, whatever, I can't remember the exact story, but it's pretty much you pay people to hold up a sign and take a picture with it, Yeah. and everybody was like, oh, he's a racist, he's a scumbag, and I was kind of like, well, I mean, he was kind of doing it just to prove that people will do anything for money, and he wasn't, he's not really a racist, and he's kind of like, maybe it's just misunderstood, and now I'm kind of on this like, dude, he's a fucking racist. Yeah, you you only get so many chances. Yeah, but... and like, and you you reach that peak. Yeah, he's he's 
pushed himself farther past the, I mean, if if the media kind of, like, takes him down or whatever it is, or he loses a bunch of followers because of he it. deserves it. Yeah. And basically what we're talking about is during one of his streams, he said the N-word in response to uh, whatever he was playing. I don't even remember. I think he was playing player unknown's battleground oh, okay. um i believe if i remember correctly and he got killed or something and he said all oh, that yeah and so and then he was like his his defense is he got caught in the heat of the moment of the game and like that's not a thing like you can't use that as an excuse dude i get caught in the heat of destiny all the time and i go motherfucker or <laughs> oh you bitch like that's as harsh as i how as harsh as i get like Never once does that word ever cross my mind to call somebody, like, ever. Yeah. Yeah, I try to, make, like, combine silly words as my insults or whatever. Dirty poop biscuit. <laughs> or something shit like that. Shit monster? <laughs> yeah. Just dumb shit. Like, yeah. n- n- not anything, like, really insulting, but... I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done defending him. Yeah. I'm, I was never really on his side, because I don't like his videos or anything. I think he's kind of cheesy or whatever, but... Um, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. The yeah. dude, the dude's a racist piece of shit and I don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. And, uh, I hope the media does bury him now. Like just goes for it. You grab the shovel, dude. You made the hole. We're just going to pile the dirt back on top of you. Yeah. You're an idiot. Yeah. A studio that does the game Firewatch Campo Santo, uh, is filing takedowns against one of his most recent videos that showed off their game and any future content he tries to put out because they don't want to be. Um, connected to them in any way. Yeah, no, I their content and I agree. That's completely fine. They're urging other studios to do it, and they might as well because I mean, I don't think he's ever gonna stop d- with what he's doing. So. Yeah, he's he's just a piece of shit. And yeah, I I don't. I'm done. I'm yeah. I'm done defending him, and you know, yeah, he dug his own grave, and I hope he loses all the millions of dollars people have given him over the years. That'd be nice. Um. Moving on to more uh, hate speech stuff, uh, Destiny 2 had an armor piece that Tyler's wearing. Yeah, um, I have it. Where it's called, is it called it's, the Keck? No, it's called the Round Complex AA1. Okay, and... Weird ass name. Yeah, but on, on the armor piece it has a green K and then these three lines and then another green K uh, and it resembles... Very, very similarly to the Keck flag, which is the white supremacist flag. Yeah, like it's, yeah, that, it's an off, off-brand white supremacist flag. Yeah, it's like much. it's like <laughs> it's like the they, poor man's KKK guy. <laughs> yeah, they, they claim to be another religion group or whatnot and whatnot of alternate righteousness or whatever. And oh, another group of pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, <laughs> um, and. Basically, like, at first look when I was, well, at first read when I was reading the story, I was like, eh, I mean, it probably has some sort of resemblance. And then when I looked at the arm piece and then I looked at the actual flag, that's way too close to... Oh, yeah. Not... It, like, like I was telling you before we started, like, when I first clicked on the story, I was like, oh, great, here we go again. Probably something that, like... Someone's blown out of yeah, proportion pro- or something. Yeah, he's blowing out of proportion. And I, like, like, like I said, like, like you said, I was reading it and I was like, okay all right okay and then like i saw like the side-by-side picture and i was like oh wow someone really fucked that up yeah how do you do that yeah no it's it's almost it's it's two k short of almost perfectly matching yeah and i think they have an extra line or two where their e is in the middle of the flag yeah an extra i think, line I think it's like and then four. they have like extra lines on the outside yeah of it this so it, it's way too <laughs> way too close and yeah. to be honest on like I like I was telling you earlier, I I didn't know that that Keck had involved because Keck started in WoW, to my knowledge, as uh, as a language barrier between one side and the other, the Horde and the Alliance. So whenever you yelled "LOL," I think it was at the other team, it said Keck. And oh, that does sound familiar. Yeah. Now that you say that. Yeah, and then um, I didn't know that Keck. I don't know if it evolved from that or if it was just. An adapt an adaptation or something, but I didn't know I had blown up into its own fucking. I had no idea that powerful, yeah, horrible thing. But the fact that this is almost spot on to yeah, the I had flag. I had no idea Keck was a thing. Like I didn't yeah. know this was a real thing. 
that people do. Yeah. Like, I just... One, I don't understand it. And two, what the fuck? But... The ar- back to the armor thing. Yeah, back to the armor thing. Sorry. I don't. I don't, don't want to jump down a whole like rabbit hole of how people who are racist are fucking pieces of shit and <laughs> deserve to die a fiery death and yeah. whatever. I'm not gonna go into it, but um, this armor. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> armor we were talking piece. about is just it's just way too close, and it's I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if somebody that designed the armor is secretly a part of this organization and tried to sneak it in they without anybody be. knowing. Yeah. Or if this really was just kind of like, oh, look what I designed. It looks pretty cool. And everybody's like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, like I had some thoughts on it. I was like, maybe they saw a symbol somewhere like, oh, that looks kind of neat. Maybe I can edit yeah, it wonder, or something. Like, like it could be something simple to where they didn't even realize what they're doing. Or it could be they are part of it. Yeah, like we don't, we don't really know. Yeah. When it comes down to it, Bungie has said they are going to do something about it. We don't know if they're fully going to remove it from the game or if they're just going to completely update the look to where it's it could just be blank. They could get rid of that whole symbol or change it to something else. Because the arms in general look super cool aside from that because they got this long blade on the elbow. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. So, I and my character's I, I, wearing them. Yeah, so I didn't look too hard at the actual like, design of the arm. Yeah, I, just no. like, I, just, I looked at the symbol and I looked at the flag, so I was like, yeah, no, I mean, the arms look cool. They got gloves and, plus and they're they got a blade. Shitty hunters, so yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm wearing them mainly because <laughs> they're the highest piece of gear I've leveled up so far. And because I want to see what happens when the change happens. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd like to see how they change it. Um, yeah. If my arms or, just disappear one day and I'm an armless hunter running around, yeah, or, or that'd if, be funny. If that's what they do, they just delete it and yeah. then, like, give whoever... Yeah, it... it who, so, give whoever, whatever, how, give them a secret Ingram for a new arm piece and yeah. it, you open it and it gives you a new legendary arm piece or if they just i mean they could just change it and make it all, like all white with like a green design down it or something i don't know yeah it, they, it, they could they could do anything they want because that's yeah. what they do so something with it will change in the future we just don't know exactly what yeah yet. but yeah, yeah. they uh, <laughs> blizzard caught or bungie caught it pretty much i guess before anybody really else did yeah, I don't remember how, like who found it or like who pointed it out, but they apologized on Twitter a couple times and yeah. they've stated that they're going to they're going to fix it. Fix it, yeah. So, if you have that arm piece, um prepare for it to be changed. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So, moving on to uh some Nintendo news. Yeah. Nintendo's doing it right. They're yeah. actually paying attention. They're actually listening to all of us. Um the NES Classic will return next year. Air races are going on above my house, so that is a very loud airplane. Yes. Um, the NES Classic will return next year. Uh, hopefully, and they, they said it's going to be a bigger stock than what they had last time. Um, that's really not going to change much, in like if you think about it, because people are still going to buy it and then scalp it out. Like yeah, that's just it's... that's just what these assholes do now to make yeah. money. Uh, but if you're looking for an, an NES Classic, uh, it's coming back next year. So yeah. look out for it, and when it does get up for pre-orders, hope you get one. Yeah, it should be out uh, tw- uh, 2018 summertime is when they said. Yeah, I hope you get one and you don't sell it for $800 on eBay or whatever yeah, these don't fucking do that. assholes just, are doing. Just don't do that. That's dumb. Yeah. Um, also more good news is the SNES Classic is getting increased numbers dramatically. Yeah. How much dramatically means, I'm not sure, <laughs> but... Uh, Nintendo has announced that they're increasing the numbers dramatically because they're they weren't they say that they weren't prepared for the success of these two consoles, which I think is kind of a bullshit excuse. But yeah, you know. I think another thing I read was they just with uh, how revamped or remade class. Uh, ugh, what's the word I'm looking for? Remade old consoles didn't have a uh, good selling. They've never worked yeah, out like, very well. Like the Sega one sucked. Yeah, they never truly believed that it'd actually sell well. So they only made a, a certain quantity and like, yeah, if it sells if we sell all of them then cool. If not, whatever. Yeah, we didn't spend, we didn't spend too much yeah, time it, on it, yeah. And um they re- they've been hearing the community community be upset about the fact that sorry. The fact that they didn't yeah, have burps out the butt, yeah, man. No. Yeah. That's a fart. <laughs> burp out the butt is a fart. <laughs> That's not a thing that somebody says to the person. You burping you know, out your butt? You burping got, out your butt, bud? You got burps out your butt. 
<laughs> so, what the fuck is Nintendo wrong with has me? been listening to their community and is creating a bigger stock to get it out to everyone or more people that so they can actually try and please the masses. Yeah. Um and they're asking anybody like if you don't get it right away, don't go on one of your auction sites to purchase one above 79.99. Don't pay the extra 100 or whatever it is you're willing to do because they're going to create more that you can buy for the standard price. You're just going to have to wait a little bit longer so they can make build up good. the quantity. Yeah. It's good that A Nintendo's calling out all these people that are doing that. It's yeah. like don't don't fucking buy, don't pay for it. Just don't. We'll we'll figure it out and we'll get it out. Yeah. Which is good on both terms. It's the fact that they're like, okay, we realize you all want this. We'll make it happen for you some way, somehow. Just give us a chance. And my third thing that I want to say about that is that I feel like I've given Nintendo many chances and they've let me down. So I don't know how I feel about this. But I want to keep it positive because they are doing great and they're doing things yeah, that they need to be doing. They're taking steps. So I'm steps. not going to dog on them. And I'm going to say, Nintendo... You're doing great. Keep up your shit. Do this way. Not that other way you were talking about earlier. Before. Get rid of that way. Go that way. You know what I mean? They're taking Keep some going. good steps forward. Yeah. yeah. One foot in front of the other, man. Yeah. Appreciate you. More good news from Nintendo. Yeah. The Switch it's... voice chat. We talked about it last week? Two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. We talked about it recently. About how it's on your phone. Everybody knows that. That's still shitty. Uh, yeah. But... If, I think it was like three weeks. If you if your phone went into like rest mode, like you know, just standard, my yeah. phone's been sitting around too long. Your phone just times out, times out, yeah. Anything. Or if you got like a phone call or something like that, and it like the app wasn't like was running in the background, yeah. The voice chat would end. Yep. They've released an update or are releasing an update. I don't know if it's out yet or if it's I've, in development. I think like, they're getting it out soon. Okay. It, regardless, uh, they fixed it. This won't happen anymore. Your phone can go. You can actually lock your phone again, and the voice chat will still go. Yeah. You can close the app, like not close to close it, but like you can exit out of the app and do other things, like check yeah, Facebook like... and stuff. Um, and the voice chat will still run. So they fixed it. Great job, Nintendo. You did great things all week long. Yeah, we're very proud of you. Yeah. Um, the I mean, the only reason the voice chat would be interrupted is if you decide you're going to play music or mm -hmm. you accept a phone call because, you know, yeah, that, that if, interrupts the audio yeah. and whatnot. So. Yeah, if, if you have something that turns off that audio yeah. communication back and forth, then... Yeah. That's... That is what it is. I, mean, I don't know what you want them to do about <laughs> that. Like, that's not something that they can really fix. It's like if you're listening to a podcast and you start watching a video on YouTube, like, one of them, something's got to give. Only one can play at a time. <laughs> So, you want your audio from the podcast and just the video from YouTube? I mean, yeah. even then, that's still something that I don't think they're going to figure out. Yeah, it's it's not going to happen. Uh, it's, just one yeah. of, it's just one of those things. It's just a limitation that it has. And it's not a bad one. Like, no. No, you, this, you, fi this, you fixed the big problem that we This is a have. positive step for their app. Yeah. Um, we all still want it on the actual console, but that, that baby steps. So I'll, I'll, take, yeah. We'll take yeah. this right now. Yeah, like I said, I want to keep it positive. Nintendo did great all week long. They announced really good stuff. They're like, they basically came out and said, look, we're fucking listening to you guys. We get it. We fucking dropped the ball on the NES Classic. We're going to fix that. Yeah. The SNES Classic pre-orders are gone. We're going to fix that. The voice chat thing sucks. We're going to fix it. So, I mean, it's, it, it shows that they're paying attention and they're actually trying to fix everything that we have problems with. So, yeah, that's good. Um, they made the community happy, react crazy over topless Mario. Yeah, Mario has nipples and everybody fucking lost their shit about it. Yeah. I, God damn it. <laughs> I said I was going to keep it positive. I'm not going to go down that road. That's that's people, more of just a community yeah, just, thing. Just, <laughs> people are dumb. Like, <laughs> what, do, what were you expecting when you took a shirt off? Like, honestly, what were you thinking was going to happen? Octopus arms would pop out of his chest. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I got nothing like, on that. Like, I didn't even read the stories. I'm like, Mario shirtless. Yeah, okay. Yeah, everybody's like, Mario's nipples. And I was like, <laughs> why is this a big deal? <laughs> what were you expecting to happen? I don't understand. And then they're like, look, they're trying to make Mario be human. It's like, what? What? What else is he supposed to be? <laughs> I just don't understand people's thought process and all this whole thing. So, yeah. well, let's uh, let's bring it back to the negative side of things. Okay, 
Well, I guess this isn't really not like a negative negative. It's kind of more of it's just a weird story of someone yeah. who did stupid stuff again. Yeah. I don't I want to call it a misunderstanding. What yeah. we're talking about is a StarCraft player recently has been banned for being drunk on a stream of him and a girl. I don't think it's his actual girlfriend. No, it, like he was out to dinner and he was streaming it. Because he streams on a popular, I think, uh, Korean TV network. and okay. Makes sense. Yeah, he was out to dinner just drinking and whatnot. And I, from the gif that I saw, it looked like he was trying to flirt with the girl that was next to him. He tried putting his arm around her and whatnot. She rejected him. So he tried. it looked like he was trying to do a, like a playful punch. But since he was junk, drunk, it looked like it was a lot harder than a playful punch. A lot harder than what it's meant to be. Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, Blizzard and I think his team have banned him from the next season of play because he plays on Team Liquid, I think. Yeah, sure. I, I don't fully remember. <laughs> um, yeah, he and he's been banned from the next season of play. There might be sexual assault slash assault charges or sexual harassment and assault charges, but I, I couldn't find anything on the girl's side of the story. So, yeah, like I said, like in his his statement about the whole thing is he says that um, it's kind of like a, a goof that they do back and forth where he tries to flirt with her. She says no. And then he kind of like gets mad at her. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I don't, like, like his whole statement was basically saying that it was like a goof gone wrong kind of thing and like misunderstanding. And that from what he has said, there isn't going to be any kind of like real legal action oh, okay. behind the scenes because it is something that he and her do all the time. I don't know how much of that is true. Yeah. Because, it... like you said, she hasn't come out and said anything. There's nothing, like, legal going on that we know about or anything like that. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens because... Yeah, I don't... To be honest, I don't know if I will really follow up on this one. Um, yeah, I don't... If something else pops up on it and we notice it, we'll talk about it, but... I think we're to pretty honest, terrible at following up on any kind of stories because yeah, there's a few <laughs> of them that we've just kind of let fall. But fall there hasn't off. been any real updates, like no. the SAG after strike. Haven't heard anything about it. Yeah, I haven't heard it. I but was most... actually wondering about that. I was gonna. I, I'm pretty sure they've gotten past the longest strike ever. Yeah, but I haven't seen any new big development. The only it. thing that I heard about the whole thing was in the most recent. This is way off topic. Uh, the most recent. Um, game from fuck what's that game called uh i got nothing on this kind of it's an episodic game episodic it's about the girls light no girls god Uh, it's like super popular and everybody loves it and it was just free for playstation people fuck what is it called i don't know last month or last couple months of free uh i think it was last month Last, I don't know if I. The got. fuck was it called? It was. Oh, that was just driving me crazy now. <laughs> but it was like the game it, that yeah, came so out. They were they had to replace one of her, one of the voice actresses in the game, um, because I think I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, because she was a part of the strike, so they replaced her with a new person. Uh, apparently, nobody really noticed, but she did come out and say that it she wasn't was... her. Yeah, she was sad so, that she got to miss out on the yeah, role and whatnot. Yeah. That's the only thing I've heard come of the SAG after a strike on the video game thing in a long time. Yeah. So I guess we'll just have to kind of wait and see on that one, too. Yeah, maybe, Still. maybe I'll look into it this upcoming week and see if I find anything. The fuck is it called? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens with the StarCraft thing. Possibly. Probably not. Um, Blizzard just on the same note, is saying that they can't get updates out fast enough and, you know, as fast as they want and update, like, work on character creation, development, skins, all sorts of stuff, maps, and everything like that because they're having to spend so much time on reacting to bad player behavior. They... They're saying they could get a lot more done if they haven't been able, if they haven't had to focus so much on uh, reacting or punishing uh, players' bad behavior. And they're actually working on making a system to where um, 
that actually helps them watch and monitor player behavior and react. Like if someone reports it, it doesn't have to, they don't have to go onto the forums and whatnot. They can report it in game and then they will get notified if that person has been reacted to or basically punished, banned or anything like that, letting the person know, Hey, we are listening and whatnot, but they're saying that they can't move forward with like getting updates and whatnot as fast as they've wanted to because of having to pretty much ground people. Yeah, uh, I feel like... Sorry, I'm trying to fucking look at that game now because it's driving me nuts. Uh, I really feel like this is kind of a cop-out for them. Kind of. I feel like you should have a team big enough to handle both of these things at the same time. Because if you didn't think you're going to have salty, toxic players in a game like uh, Overwatch... You haven't been paying it. Life is Strange. Fuck, it's called Life is Strange. Yeah. That's the name of the game. Yeah, the second but, one that came out. Anyway, yeah. what I was saying. And the, the second one, whatever, <laughs> Into the Storm or whatever it's called. Um, Yeah, she's not in that one. Uh, But, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, if you didn't think that a game like Overwatch was going to have toxic players, then you haven't been paying attention to the gaming world since, um, I don't know, let's say Call of Duty 2. Like really, yeah. The like I like I I, I get I get what they're saying. It's hard to keep up with the the tickets and the the complaints and all those stuff. But at the same time, I mean, this isn't new. You should have been prepared for something like this. Yeah. Like I I just I just <clears throat> with I all the other games they have out, it's surprising that they didn't implement any sort of system beforehand with this. Yeah. Like you didn't like think about it. Like yeah. I, I just I yeah I don't know. That's just a weird story that we found. Um, that I think it's kind of them blowing things out of proportion. This is something that they should have planned for. Yeah, no, I agree. It's just, yeah. it's just, it's one of those things that. How did you not think this was going to happen? Yeah. People are gamers are babies, dude. Yeah. Like we've known that from day one. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's all I got on that. Yeah. No, I, I've said my piece on it. It's just. I just don't understand how you yeah. weren't you weren't ready for this. Yeah. Quick mention on Overwatch. If you want to deal with all those toxic players, or if you just want to try it out, they're having a free weekend this upcoming weekend, the September twenty second to the twenty fifth. Ah, my neck just popped. It hurt a lot. Don't do that. No breaking your neck. That's bad. I know. It's um, weird. But yeah, so it's on all platforms. You basically can progress <sighs> as far as you want, as much as you want to play this. Next upcoming weekend. Yeah. So, if you haven't played Overwatch, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, more air race noises. The death, the director of the Death Note movie, which we reviewed last Wednesday, it's not great. No. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, it's not a great <laughs> movie. Uh, he deleted his Twitter recently because he was getting death threats and um, people were just being really mean to him. Yeah. On the internet. Uh, which, this is one of those things that I'll say it again. How did you not see this coming? <laughs> You've ruined a beloved story, an anime story that we all loved, and you just, you butchered it. And what were you expecting to happen? Yeah, I did butcher it. <sighs> I, I I mean I'm not saying that what no, they're doing no, is no. right, and I'm not like I'm not saying that you should do you should send anybody death threats because you shouldn't. Yeah, it's no, not it's, cool. It's dumb. Um, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, the but, way I mean, he like, reacted before it was probably good, and then I think he just got tired of it. Yeah. But basically, he first started reacting, calling everybody trolls and whatnot. Yeah. I was like, Which they all are. right, well, I guess if he's taking it in stride, that's cool. And then he just deleted it probably just because he's getting so many things that he didn't want to constantly be reading that. Because, you know, you read a couple death threats in the day, you're probably not feeling great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Sorry he was pushed to that length to uh, do it, but I'm... I'm people are assholes like okay here's my thing is people are assholes and deleting your twitter isn't gonna save you from that no it's not like, because as soon as he if he ends up recreating one or whatnot I... it's just gonna start all over again and then it's gonna be worse because they got him to delete his twitter like yeah i'm pretty sure on twitter you can turn off notifications that are like not people that you're following so you just won't even get those notifications anymore you probably could I, I don't remember. I haven't messed with. I feel like I feel like that's a thing that I already have because I don't. I don't even get half the notifications that I get on my phone. 
<laughs> like I, I don't, I just don't get them until I open up the app and it's like you have blah, and I just I click on it and click back because it's not important to me. No. But yeah, I, I mean it. It I, sucks that he did get pushed to that level, um, yeah. and it sucks that people suck so much. And yeah, um, yeah, I think he expected the criticism, and I'm glad he was able to endure for a little bit. But I, I don't want him to sit there and have to deal with all the sort, all sorts of different things. But so, if you were looking to comment or threaten or whatever, one don't do that. Yeah, if you're looking to be a piece of shit, <laughs> I just want to make it clear. When I started this the segment, I wasn't defending those people that were yeah, yeah, sending yeah. him death threats. I didn't want to make it come off like that, yeah. but. It was just one of those things that, like... <sighs> the movie wasn't good. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah. We it talked was... about it in our review thing of how I feel like he should have handled the yeah. whole thing, and that'll just leave it at that. Yep. Let's talk about Star Wars. The Star War. J.J. Abrams. Yeah. Star Wars Episode Nine. J.J. Abrams. That's what it's called. Yeah. No, just kidding. Uh, Star Wars Episode Nine got us director. Um, it's going to be the same guy that did Episode Seven, and his name is J.J. Abrams. Yeah. Let's just hope he doesn't do the thing that he did in Episode Seven, where he just kind of like recreated A New yeah. Hope, and just doesn't like recreate <laughs> the Return of the Jedi. Let's hope he actually kind of makes his own story. I mean, I I love what he did with that, but it was just it was literally like just a throwback and being like, look guys, yeah, it... look what we can do now. Look how cool this all looks. It's kind of the same, but it's a little different. But yeah, look they, how cool it looks. It was, it was a stretch. Um, yeah. I don't... I just... I don't know. I'm hoping they just don't jump director to director again. And I'm tired of hearing, like, different yeah. directors. Let's just make the fucking movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, so J.J. Abrams, episode 9, new director. We'll see how long it goes. I think he's bringing a few people in to up update the writing and whatnot with it so yeah we'll see what happens with the story also the release date for it has been moved back i think like oh half a year uh, just yeah now. i think it was supposed to be in march and now it's in december or something yeah. like that i have it somewhere. it's not it's not too crazy no, it's, it's just yeah it was supposed to be may 24th may. 2019 now it's december 20th 2019 so yeah so just wait move back a few longer. months yeah. yeah no that's, big deal that's not too bad yeah Ah, uh, another Star Wars news. Joseph Gordon-Levitt will have a cameo mm-hmm. in the upcoming movie. Yeah, he's gonna have a. He, he's gonna be playing. An, he's gonna voice one of the aliens in the movie, and they also have a couple other cameos. I think in for Episode Nine, also like I think, uh, was it Daniel Craig is gonna be a stormtrooper? Huh. And there was one other person's name that came up. But yeah, you're going to have some big cameos coming up in the next cameos couple episodes. Cameos are coming for Star Wars, baby. So, expect to see a lot of people in the in the new Star Wars. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, EVE Online is a game we talk about every once in a while. Yeah. Um, this this story is uh, pretty fucking hardcore. Yeah. This makes me not want to play this game. It makes Tyler want to play this game. I... I just so want the, to experience the craziness of this game. Yeah, so over the, the course of this last week or so, I guess we're probably going on for a few weeks, but it's just now been revealed of what happened. Um, Basically, somebody from one of the biggest guilds, I don't think they're actually called guilds. But yeah, I don't know what they're called. They're called exactly. Starfleets. One of the biggest yeah. Starfleets in, in EVE uh, was like the co-person in charge. Like he had the keys to the city, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and... He went to a, uh, like a... Yeah, there was a convention Yeah, in, yeah. Was it Iceland, I think? Yeah. Where then, a bunch of the people in the community for EVE Online were meeting at a convention and yeah. whatnot just to... They, 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 they talk about, like... Help... Yeah, they, they support the game. Like, they help donate and yeah. um, help bring in people to grow the game and whatnot. Yeah, it's essentially like a... Like a, hey, look at, look at what we're doing. Um, come join us. Yeah. It's, like, it's like the Army National Guard sitting on the corner next to Starbucks, <laughs> where they're like, hey, come in and we'll show you what we're doing. Yeah, pretty it's much. Kind of, it's, kind of some, it's something kind of like that, but not really at all. Yeah. But, so he went, guy had the keys to the, the, the Alliance City Starfleet thing, went into, went there, and then one of the other biggest alliances, Starfleet's captains. Dang. Airplanes. There's one of the Starfleet's Yeah, there right was now. one of them right there. Um, was there and 
somehow convinced him to switch sides. Yeah. But not tell anybody that he switched sides. And essentially gave the key to their whole territory, alliance, Starfleet, mega system that they created. I think they call them Citadels. Yeah. Um, gave him, them, that team, alliance, Starfleet thing, the key to their Starfleet alliance thing. And they went in, took over, and are just destroying everybody that's a part of that. And they've taken over the Citadel. Yeah, they these two guilds, and I think a few other, or Starfleet, sorry, have had like a war going on for Starfleet the past... Starfleet Alliance things, yeah. thank you very much. They've had a, a war going on for the past year. And during this convention, they the big one, the guy that got turned is called the judge in the game. That like that's his tag or whatever. Wasn't the judge the guy? No, the guy that um, the guy that got banned. The guy that got banned is called Gig X. Oh yeah, no yeah, you're we'll right, get you're we'll right, get into right, that. Right. But the judge got turned to create a coup in his guild, in his Starfleet. Sorry, I'm gonna keep saying guild. Starfleet Alliance thing. Starfleet Alliance thing. Um, in the past couple weeks, where he just handed over the keys and let the other Starfleet Alliance thing in, and they completely took over the Citadel, locked everything down, so the players can't even leave. Yeah, that they're are all... part of it. They're all stuck. There's like 5,000 players that are stuck in that Citadel trying to find a way out or barricade themselves so they can survive. We should fuck that. Yeah. Um, uh, the big guild that has essentially fallen is called CO2, or Circle of Two, and the... Uh, Starfleet that's taken over is the Goon Swarm. Goon Swarm. Yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah, this all happens, and then um, the, the leader of the CO2, uh, Gig X, like we were talking about, yeah. he threatened the judge that he was going to cut off his hands. Yeah. Like, not, like, directly, but he his statement was, or he, what he said in-game in chat was, uh, use your keyboard while you still can. Yeah. Or something like that. Something, along along the lines along of those that. Lines, yeah. Basically saying that I'm going to cut off your hands because you you did this to us. Yeah. Um, so they, a, they like they essentially built such a big citadel that they had in game currency was like in the trillion dollar range. Yeah. And the fact that within a couple of weeks they completely lost all of it. Like that sucks. Yeah. This game fucking sucks. <laughs> Like, I want to try and play it, but I also don't want to pay a subscription fee and whatnot to get into it, to yeah. build up, to try and build up to what... Yeah, maybe you can. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess there are, like, codes of conduct between people where, like, yeah, you, you, don't, we, you don't fuck with new players. Like, we yeah. talked about it before. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this whole situation, like, basically the biggest Alliance Starfleet thing in all of EVE is gone. Yeah. It doesn't exist anymore, essentially. Yeah. Their Citadel has been lost. Their players are stuck inside the Citadel. And their leader is banned from the game. Yeah. That's intense. They're I, fucking nuts. I kind of wish I had played a game like this a long time ago. Or was into if, a game yeah, like this. If I would have gotten into this game in the very beginning, then I would be different. Like yeah. my, my, I'm sure my, my stance would be different in this whole situation. But, like... Right now, I'm just blown away. I'm like, <laughs> you guys spend way too much time in this fucking game. <laughs> Says the guy that just spent so much time in Destiny 2. <laughs> uh, but... Can't do like, that in Destiny 2, though. Yeah, like... I want to know what the deal was that they gave the judge. Oh, yeah, for that them, would for be him, great. To, for him to just be like, okay. Yeah, all right. Like what? What it was like? What, at at, the, at the end of the end of the whole thing, they're just gonna leave and be like, "All right, this is your citadel now. You can do what you want with it." They just, no, yeah, they, 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 they just erase the circle of two, and then they're just like, "You can have the citadel." <laughs> That'd be cool. Or they just walk up to him. Hey, you want to start some chaos? Yeah, I could do that. That would be you. <laughs> that would totally be you. Like if we had this giant citadel, and like somebody just like walked up and they're like, "Hey." You want to have some fun? You'd be like, kind of. What are you talking about? Let's, <laughs> let, 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 okay. What's your idea? Go on. <laughs> so we want to take over the Citadel and do all this other stuff. And you're like, huh. Let me get back to you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I might have something I can do. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I do have the key to the Citadel. Like, I'll probably just unlock the door for you. I mean, whatever. We'll figure it out. Yeah. 
What do I get in return? No, actually, you know what? I don't even need the return. I just want to see the. I just want to see it unfold. This could be really fun to watch. I'll Give just... me a good seat. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a good seat and shit me over some popcorn. We'll call it a day. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So if you're playing Eve Online and you saw what happened, there there Holy might shit. be an end to that war, and you can start a new one. Yeah, just go attack the Goon Swarm because they have the giant biggest citadel in the whole game. They have good two luck. Citadels now, I probably. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> they probably have the two largest citadels in the whole game. Yeah. Now. So. That's fun. If I was in the circle of two and I was like one of the people stuck, I'd just be like, dude, just kill me and get it over with. Like, I'll just go start over somewhere else. <laughs> or I'd try to be like, hey, you can have whatever. Can I just not die? Can I just keep my ship? And I'll just like leave or like join you guys or something? Like, I figured out a way to try to like bargain. Yeah, they recruit half of the people. Or they can be like the Joker. All right, the last one living can join us. (laughs) 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 Explosion. See, that would be like, I would be the one who betrayed everyone and they'd be like, all right, so the last one living can hop on this side. Yeah, last one living gets to stay. You're an asshole. We were friends. We did all that stuff together. (laughs) You can still be my friend. Yeah. Just do well. (laughs) Win and stay. That's the the deal. This This guy's just fucked up. Yeah. Eve Online did some crazy shit again. It was like a year ago that they had the giant like galaxy war. Like it was just a war between everybody. I think so. Yeah, yeah. But Eve Online is a this is fucking weird shit game. show. Yeah. Moving over to our friends over <laughs> in Japan. Yeah. Um, Coca Cola Coffee is a thing in Japan. Yeah. And I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of weird. Um, is it like? coffee flavored coca-cola or is it coca-cola flavored coffee i think somebody said it doesn't really taste like either weird yeah even more strange it's, Keep it's just it's i don't know it's exclusively out of vending machines and it like when you're drinking it you can't get a feel for one or the other but it's it's just just like a coffee in the, like sense that it'll wake you up and all that stuff make you poop um hell yeah it's Called Coca Cola Coffee Plus has fifty percent more caffeine and fifty percent fewer calories in it. Nice. So that's... double the caffeine. Not double the caffeine. That's not real. <laughs> a lot more caffeine and less fat stuff for your body. <laughs> yeah, and um, I know how to say things. Yeah, it's. I mean, Coca Cola Coffee. I don't really yeah. have much else on it. This new thing. It's the thing they're doing in Japan. Maybe they it'll did. pop up over here if it blows up over there. Probably not. Yeah. Anyway, so moving on to more Japanese stuff. They have a cosplay roofing company where they dress up in cosplay and they'll come and redo your roof. Not exactly, but yes. Sort of. (laughs) (laughs) So one company is trying out a new thing for, I don't know, like the first 10 people get it for free. They're, They're doing a cosplay consultation thing. Like the cosplayers aren't actually going to be working and redoing your roof. Yeah. They're going to be... Helping with the consultation, like they'll be up on the roof with the workers, helping get the assessment, and then they will go talk to the uh, owner or whatever and help explain the consultation and figure out, like, this is what it'd be, all that sort of technical mumbo jumbo. They're basically playing the middleman yeah. of the guy who's going to do the work and the person that wants the work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, apparently it's to help ease with how nervous people are with the consultations. So, I guess that's the thing. It's a weird thing to be nervous about. I mean, you know it's going to be expensive as fuck. Yeah. Like, that's just a thing. That is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, for in Japan, like, maybe this will be a popular thing where they'd have cosplay consultations for all sorts of businesses. But yep. right now, a roofing company is going to start it, and I had their name. They're doing it first. Yeah, it doesn't matter what their name is. Yeah, I mean, you can't do it here anyway. Yeah. But... Uh, if you live in Japan and you want a new roof and you want some cosplayers to come out and tell you about the new roof and how much it's going to cost and all that other fun stuff, you can do that. Yeah. By contacting Mori Kenchiku Bunkinkogaya. Kind of what he said. But it's, <laughs> but, a li- it's a little different. Yeah, it's, it's probably better <laughs> it's actually, than what I said. It's actually real words. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. There you go. Cosplay roofing. <laughs> get your cosplays on. Get your roofs on. Make no money because you're gonna spend it all on a new roof. Yeah, great job. Uh, Bethesda, fucking Bethesda. Bethesda's doing a Bethesda thing where they're like, 
they kind of just like they <laughs> basically everybody's sitting in an office and they're like, what are we going to talk about? Like, are we what do we got news this week? What's the big what's the big story? And then Pete Hines from Bethesda like pokes his head in the like in the room, just like mm-hmm. just like one of the, like totally cartoony pokes his head and he's like, hey guys, we're releasing a new game this year. We haven't announced yet. See ya. And like leaves. And then everybody's like, wait, what? Somebody go grab that guy. <laughs> and he's already gone because. Was Pete Hines there in the first place? No he's, one actually knows. He's just a Looney Tune character. Yeah. <laughs> like, Pete Hines is... He painted a hole on the wall and went through it after saying that. He's a magical, miracle <laughs> man that I'm not sure is a real person or actually exists. No. But I, I mean, I, I've seen him in person, like, at E3. I, I watched him. I saw him. He was, <laughs> he was probably he, 10 feet away from me. But I'm not convinced disappear. that that was a real thing. Anyway, Bethesda has an unannounced game that's coming out this year. Yeah. That no one knows what it is. We're all just kind of like, what? wait, what the fuck? Why would you even say that? You're like less than four months? Yeah. Yeah. So You have like yeah, two was, and a half months. He was, like, yeah. It was <laughs> well, during three an, and a half. Yeah. It was during an interview. He was talking to, to, I don't even remember who it was. I think it was like IGN or something. And basically in the middle, he was like, oh, well, you know, um, we do have a game. I like, it, like, he wasn't even provoked into saying it. He just said it. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's a total, like, fucking Looney Tunes character where he just fucking poked his head and he's like, hey, guys, guess what? We're doing this. See ya. And then he was gone. Yeah, I, Disappeared into the mist. Like, I can't even remember the conversation they're having exactly, but essentially he's like, oh, yeah, I mean, we have a game that's coming out later this year that nobody knows about. And then he was like, wait, the, the interviewer was like, wait, what? Do you, do you, can you, like, elaborate on that? He's like, nah. They're like, nope, that's all I got. That's all, I'm, that's all I can tell you. And it's like... How how do you expect me to continue this interview now? <laughs> like I had this list of questions I was going to ask you, and we were going to talk, we were going to goof. I was even going to go buy you a beer after this. Now I just want to get you hammer drunk, and then you fucking just tell me what it is. Like what? How the fuck do you continue the interview after that? <laughs> Don't. Pete Hines. That's how he gets out of interviews. He's like, all right, we need to put something out now. Pete Hines, you're a beautiful bastard, and I love you. So expect something from Bethesda. Here's the hoping it's not a mobile game or something. Yeah, hopefully it's not something stupid like like a mobile game or like a side scrolling like flash game or something oh, yeah. stupid like that. Hopefully it's like a real like they're just like, Oh hey, this game is out now. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be the next installment in any of the current series or franchises, but because I think Elder Scrolls Six is supposed to be next year or the year after. I don't remember. Nobody knows. Yeah, that's that's another one we're kind of all just like waiting on. Like, all right, well, when's the next Elder Scrolls game? And then everybody's like, well, they have Elder Scrolls Online, so just play that. And then Pete Hines is kind of like, no, oh no, we're working on a new one. Don't worry, it's just not ready to be shown off yet. Yeah, when the game's coming out, we'll show it to you. Yeah. See, and this is the one thing that I've always loved about Bethesda is they're like, here's the game, it's out in three months. Not like, here's this trailer for this game that looks really great Expected and it could come out in 2025 like maybe <laughs> we'll we'll figure it out later yeah we'll see like yeah. anthem anthem looks fucking amazing but we're not sure if it's coming out next year the year after that yeah maybe it's, 2020 it's yeah yeah that's another game i'm looking forward to yep don't know when to look forward to it or but yeah this has been epsnod because we can write. Epsido. Epsido. There Absolutely. we go. That's, that's always how that's, we do it. That's yeah. what I always do. Epsido 7-4. We think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't actually go back and look at what episode we were on. We're kind of just fucking winging it. I'm like pretty I said, sure. This week, this, th- these next three episodes are a total shit show. Just because we've literally spent all of our time in Destiny. Like, yeah. we didn't prep very hard or <laughs> at all, to be honest with you. So, um, we apologize for that. But... Blame Bungie, it's their fault. <laughs> anyway, like you said, it's been episode, episode 74, we think. Yeah. Uh, of your general nerdcast. We just fed you the news, and I hope you're full. And if not, uh, I don't know, Apple did some stuff with their new phone. You can go look that up. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Look, I, look I'm, I'm playing fair both ways. I don't use iPhones, but we didn't talk about the S8. We didn't talk about the Note 8. I'm not going to talk about the iPhone. I don't talk about phones. See? We're not going to talk about phones. Got it. If you guys God have... damn, the no day look. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what you, you were going to say, I'll let you, 
You want me to do it? You're you laughing. Do it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about what you've heard, listened to, watched, anything like that, uh, you can get a hold of us at uh, generalnerdcast at gmail.com. Yeah. We also have a Twitter at General Nerdcast. We have a Facebook at General Nerdcast. We also have a Patreon page. If you want to help us out there, help us grow the show, do more things, do better stuff, and um, retire. No, I don't know. Uh, you can get a, do that at patreon.com slash general nerdcast. We'd love to hear from you on any of those platforms. Uh, you can also drop us a line in the comments on Patreon and kind of let us know how we're doing. You can do that. You can subscribe on Patreon. You can send us money on Patreon. You can listen to the podcast on Patreon. Uh, if you want them early, there's an option for that. If you want more options, let us know what you want us to do. Yeah. We also have YouTube. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. Also, do that. Don't, I'm not saying you can. I'm saying you will. You're going to do it right now. Go. I'll wait. That was probably enough time for you to subscribe on YouTube. Oh. So, subscribe, comment, like YouTube videos. We are all on YouTube. It's General Nerdcast. Um, yeah, I don't know. Squirtle's freaking out. Yeah, he's like the not hell? really. Like, he's not like real see through. Yeah, that's weird because it should just You're be black. You're not supposed to be. Your colors no match. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Was he doing that in Friday's episode? I oh, wasn't fuck. paying enough attention. Probably. I'm all right. Yeah, that's yeah. fucked up. <laughs> so we just we don't know colors anymore. So yeah, be prepared for Friday's episode where I was playing with Squirtle. Reality is mixed and we don't know what's going on. This is General Nerdcast. We you listen to you in the morning. <laughs> Enjoy everything and don't lose your colors. Don't lose your way. If you're listening in the afternoon, don't <laughs> get mixed up languages like I did. <laughs> <laughs> be from Scotland. <laughs> if you're listening to us in the afternoon, be from Scotland. Scotland Yard. Hurry up and move. <laughs> move, move somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know. If you're listening to us in the afternoon, move not to Scotland. What? <laughs> That's not a thing people say. I was gonna say move to Scotland so you oh. can listen and be Scottish. Gotcha. There you go. Gotcha. If you're listening to the evening. <laughs> Earth humor. I was just drunk. I give up on words. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even looking at you anymore. It's, it's done. Words don't exist. And eat wonderful foods. If you're listening to Before Bed, to Before Bed, yeah, words. I uh, hope you sleep <laughs> wonderfully, have wonderful dreams, and you don't hold on to the squirtle nightmares of his face disappearing and melting off. Ah! <laughs> it's more than every... It's... Look at all... Like, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what's happening. He looks so cool, though. Actually, he does. I kind of like it. Like when it's he's close, like, it looks good. He looks, when it's back here, creepy. It's creepy, yeah. Great. Looks like creepy. he's all great. Creepy. Great. Creepy. Great. I'm done. Mochis. Love you.